Hey everybody, Zach here from Mythos Pedals, and today we're going to talk about my top five must-have tools for working on your guitar. We're going to go through all these things, show a little bit of why I think they belong either at your workbench or in a gig bag. So first up is this. This is a spanner wrench. ESP makes this one. It's really tough. A lot of companies are making them now, and you can get them really cheap. And I think that it's something that belongs in a gig bag or on a bench because you can use it to tighten nuts on your guitar. It has these little teeth, and so you don't have to get out a socket driver set. You can also use them to adjust the height on a stop tail on a Gibson style guitar because the slot in that opening is about the same, so you don't have to muck this up or, or damage it with a screwdriver also for tightening a switch, tightening up uh, the ferrules or the nuts on a tuner. You can, you can do a lot of stuff with this little tool. It's a really handy thing, they're really cheap, and I think everyone should have it lying around somewhere. Number two is this. This is a flush cutter. A flush cutter is basically a set of nippers or wire cutters that are flat on one side. And so what that allows you to do is if you're working on a guitar, you're working on a pedal or something, you can get in really tight and make really clean cuts. So it helps keep your work looking more professional. And in my experience, when you get done with a project and it looks really good, you feel overall a lot better about your work and it makes you want to keep doing that kind of work. Okay, so number three is this, the Rene Martinez Toolkit from Mojo Tone. This thing is a must-have because it has every size Phillips, flathead, and Allen or hex key tools that go in the screwdriver handle. It even has some socket drivers that make it a must-have for working on your guitar. It can adjust the bridge on both Fender and Gibson style instruments. You can even work on a Floyd Rose with it. And if you're gigging, if you're touring, or if you're just working at home, this can pretty much take care of any task that you need it to. So, Everyone should have one of these. I buy these for my friends because I think it's so valuable. Number four is a multimeter. Now, multimeters kind of seem intimidating, but it's a must-have tool. Every guitarist needs it for a couple reasons. You can do continuity. I showed that in the guitar modification video when we worked on the Sepiphone Special, but that's really valuable because if you're working on your guitar and something's not working, you need to test if the connections are solid. So continuity mode will let you check if grounds are connected, if uh, your switch and your pots are connected properly. It's a really handy thing. You can test uh, the resistance of potentiometers. You can check the, the resistance of pickups. You can also bias a guitar amp with something like this. They're really affordable and I think every guitarist needs this on your workbench or if you're gigging you should have this if you gig with a tube amp because you never know when you might have to make an adjustment on the fly. Lastly is this soldering iron. This is the Hako or Hako FX888D. It is what we use for building pedals and I've been using these irons for about 10 years now. Every part on this is replaceable so if it ever breaks you can fix it and there is a variety of tips so you can do really any job that you need the soldering iron to do with this soldering iron. It may seem a little more intimidating or hard to justify spending a little over $100 on a soldering station like this, but once you experience the flexibility of being able to adjust the heat, so it doesn't matter what type of solder you're working on, what sort of project you've got, this solder station can handle it, and I think that everyone needs to have a soldering iron like this on your workbench. If you're gigging, you can get a pencil style iron, so if you have to make a, a repair on the fly, keep that in your gig bag or have a toolkit that you take on the road. But these are the five main things that I think every guitarist should have lying around so you can do work on your guitar and really feel right at home being your own repair person. Last up, I want to cover some wild card things, some things that I think guitarists should have in and around their, their workspace, but you might not necessarily need. Um, we talked about this in the guitar modification video. This is a chopstick. If you're doing any soldering or testing uh, your tubes in your amp, poking and prodding inside an amp so you don't want to shock yourself, a chopstick is a handy thing. So the next time you get takeout, grab a couple extra chopsticks and just throw them on your workbench. Ooh. 
The next thing is fret erasers. Now we featured those in the video where I modified this Epiphone as well, but these are basically like a pencil eraser with an abrasive. You can use them to polish frets. They can kind of fix fret sprout. Um, a lot of things can be done with these simple sort of fret erasers if you have any issues on the road. This is a great thing to have in your gig bag. And lastly, a tool that I don't think is just for guitar, but something that everybody needs is the classic Leatherman tool. Now this is like the original. Um, this is something that I've used to work on everything in my life, in and around my house, on guitars. You have a variety of screwdrivers, you have pliers with wire cutters, all the things you need to do most projects, and it's just a small tool that really will serve every purpose, uh, especially in a pinch. If, you're, <laughs> if you need uh, to do something quickly and you don't have any other tools around. Usually a Leatherman tool can get the job done. So, those are the tools that I think every guitarist need. Check out links in the description below. We're gonna have links to our Amazon uh, affiliate store so you can buy some of this stuff for yourself and add it to your home tool bench. But thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.